Okay, seriously, how often is it 75 degrees in February? It's crazy warm. Woo, careful, Kale. Kale, share and give Abby a turn. <laughs> they have been outside all day. Kale, Abby, less whining, baby girl. Kale, share, thank you. Ah! Back up, Abby, you're gonna get hit.
it has been a very rough few days. Um, the kids have been very involved in activities. I definitely feel like we've reached the stage where I'm just their chauffeur. Uh, Caleb started swimming lessons recently and karate. And Abby was so excited because we found a little dance class for her. And she put on her little dance outfit yesterday morning. We got all ready. Um, she had a little runny nose in the morning. But she was so excited to start uh, ballet class and possibly a little tap class. And then she had lunch and she took a nap and she woke up and started throwing up and she just wasn't feeling well. Um, I took her to the doctor and she had a fever of 101 and strep throat. <laughs> so I feel so bad. She has been looking forward to this little dance class for so long and I was so excited for her and then she couldn't go last night to dance class. So. She um, had a pretty rough day yesterday. We started on amoxicillin and uh, this morning she woke up again with the fever. Not quite as high as yesterday. Um, her stomach is feeling a little bit better and she did have some breakfast. But poor thing, she is so tired and her throat hurts and I just feel so bad for her. So hopefully she will start feeling better soon because it will be almost 24 hours that we've gotten some of the antibiotics into her system. And Caleb actually went to the doctor with me as well yesterday because he was complaining of an ear uh, ache, which I thought may be an ear infection. He did have the tubes put in his ears three years ago, but um, the one tube had fallen out, but the other tube was still in. And the doctor confirmed that, and the ear where he's having pain, actually it's the right side, um, he said the tube came like partially way, the way down and then the wax is built up between the tube and the inner part of his ear which is actually what's causing the pain and the doctor said it's like having a rock in your ear which oh my God, I feel so bad for him. Um, so he said to give Tylenol for the discomfort and then in the future if it doesn't get better we might have to talk to an ENT about removing it. So my poor kids they don't feel very good right now. They've been sick, so hopefully they'll start feeling better soon, um, and we can get back on track with our day. But I look like this because my house looks like it exploded with them being sick. I've just been, there's blankets everywhere. They've been laying on the couches, watching shows, watching a tablet, just not really doing a whole lot of anything. So today I have work to do, but I also hope that I can get a little bit done as the kids start feeling a little bit better. I want to try to get them outside a little bit if possible if they're feeling better this afternoon because it's like going to be 60 degrees today. Um, and then the next two days it's supposed to be really cold and rain and possibly even snow flurry. Um, so I know we'll be housebound. So hopefully Abby's temperature will stay down with some Tylenol and the antibiotics will kick in and we can get them some fresh sunshine, sunshine today.